continued collection of our players of Gainesville YouTube bike extravaganza. My name is Rick. It's good talking to you again. Now I want to tell you about the 2011 Victory Vision. This bike has got everything except for the kitchen sink because it wouldn't fit. On this bike, first and foremost, I'm going to kind of start you from the bottom because I think this is really cool. For those that are going to a big touring bike and they're afraid about how much it weighs, you're only looking about 846 pounds on here. But God forbid something happened, you've got built-in tip-over protection on all Victory Visions. Will not let this bike go past 45 degrees. You can take a woman, bring it right back up to the stand. Doesn't retain a lot of power. Also allows you to separate yourself from the bike in the instance that you do go down. So God forbid that ever happens. We don't want it to happen, but it's there just in case. Now, every one of these Visions, again, coming with this 106 cubic inch power plant. We say cubic inch for American bikes. But for those guys out there in North America, 1,731 cc's. 93 horsepower, 110 foot-pounds of torque, and that is the Freedom V-Twin engine. Again, for 2011, the helical cut, 100,000 mile transmission, six speeds on this thing. So again, what that does, you get up on the open highway, you're hitting 70, 75, put it in six gear, bring it down about 500 RPMs, and just cruise, which is what we want to do. The ultimate touring bike, you got great storage on here, you also have an Air suspension in the back, got a little straighter valve right here, you got a little chart for how much weight you're putting on there, so you can kind of guess what you got between two people and all your gear. Make sure you're riding at a safe ride height to handle any obstacle that you might incur. Now also what you're seeing here, if it's coming through right, this is new two-tone pearl white and gray for, or there's a little bit of striping, a little bit of gray up over here for 2011. And a big thing that I was probably blocking, ABS, anti-lock braking system. It's a big bike, you got to brake hard. It's going to stop you. So we'll take a look at a couple other things. Now again, may, many of you may not be used to the way the division looks. Completely wind tunnel dictated by design. All of your top auto manufacturers, everybody is making something to be a great machine. That's what they do to make sure that everything coming off the road, the wind, the rain, people, who knows, you're not getting hit by it. A lot of features on this. Every vision has this electric windshield. You push a button. Three and a half inches of deviation so you and your rear passenger can be comfortable. Huge high intensity discharge light on top of your running lights. You're lit up all the way around this bike so you've got great visibility day or night. Huge braking system. Now every Victory uses floating rotors. What floating rotors do is they dissipate heat much quicker. It'd be cheaper to go with solid rotors but we're not going to do that. They're drilled to dissipate the gas. You get great braking performance, wonderful stopping power and of course you added ABS on this bike. It's absolutely wonderful. Great design on this bike. Now, as you can see on this bike, it's a big touring cruiser, but you got all the lines in place. It all comes together with the trunk and with the side bags. Looks good. It's new. It's fresh. It's what's happening for right now. And it's a simple push button open for these. Everything drops right in there. You got lots of storage. You got oh, over almost with the trunk about 29 gallons of total storage space on here. So again, looking at the back of this bike, you see a couple things here. The design keeps going. It keeps flowing. looks nice. We've got no squares. We've got no boxes. We've got stuff that's all for comfort and handling on the bike. Great V, huge LED brake lights. V for victory, if you didn't figure that out. Wonderful two-tone. Again, all these Vision, Vision trunks. Plenty of space for two full-face helmets and extra gear in here. Simple things make that life nice. You have a little light that you can turn on. You got a little power port inside to hook stuff up on there. Whether it be a big CD changer, if you're still old school, or you got your iPods, anything else for the people that are new school. Huge exhaust coming out the back. Gives you a great aggressive look and stance on the bike. It's just absolutely wonderful. you got to have one. So we'll take a look at a couple of the comfort features on this bike. So what you're going to see, i got a lot of stuff up here on these Visions. Take this key out so you can kind of see what's going on. Now, to start right at the top, your analog and digital gauges are nice and high. So again, it minimizes the time for you to see what's going on the road, see if your gauges are going on. Great white face dial, it actually helps again for recognition on here. You've got an infotainment center on this bike where you can kind of control your radio and apparatus right here with a nice screen to tell you what's going on. Or you can control it by your left hand right here. You can hook up, once I get to it here, she's fresh. Once I hook up right here, you got your auxiliary jack for your iPod. Again, you also got a little bit of storage in here to put things. I also have another power port inside this, so you're good to go. Once you hook up whatever you got to this, again, it's integrated right into the system. Infotainment center tells you what's going on. Hand controls for while you're going. It's absolutely wonderful. It's absolutely sweet. Cruise control, electric, super, super simple. Again, on, off, resume, excel, set, decel. It is right there where you need it. 
Again, you got those nice pullback handlebars, 26 and a quarter inch off the ground for your seat height, which is good for those guys who don't have a big inseam, and a big back seat for the uh, back passenger. Heated grips, heated seats, speakers all the way around. But what else do you need except for a nice ride? So again, come down to Polaris at Gainesville. Take a look at these new visions. Take a look at all the Victory bikes, and we'll see you when you get here.